Welcome back. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Uh, we are going to have a little beginner's guide on Seraph today. Because. <clears throat> because why not? Because why not? Hey, just wait for the load. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making, I've been making accounts. I've made this mad lad. He got all the way to level 62. After this guy, bloody naked man, didn't, um, he got stuck in the quest line, so I had to give, he up, give up on him, and it was a bit sad. I tried a barbarian, or another man, naked man. Look at all their muscles. And uh, we have another one, which is for showcasing this game today. Widget Games. Yes, he does. I'm going to choose a necromancer because I know, I know enough about them. Uh, but let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment. And subscribing would be nice too. Because that is a good that is a good thing. Do the good do the good things. Okay. And you know, even even if you sh like press the share button on someone's YouTube, YouTube thinks you've shared it. Like if you copy the link, I mean, if you at least copy the link, you don't have to share it anywhere. YouTube thinks you've shared it and it goes, Ooh, great. And gives you lots of stuff. Well, shows you to lots of people. Okay, so level one. We just want to follow these. The best thing about <coughs> the best thing about this game right now is as we're learning it, and there's not like wikis out, and there's not many videos on how to do this. We can see the footprints of where we have to go. Oh my, Seraph! So bang through these. If you really want to just chew through them and get to level 60, you can. You don't have to do any side quests. Don't have to follow any sort of storyline. You can just, I mean, well, you have to follow the main quest, but you can smash through it and just ignore all the talking if you really want. But let's go help Alberto. I shall prove myself. Okay. Uh, I am gonna, I am gonna. New mail. Oh, we got compensation. Expired? Oh, because the compens... Huh. Compensation per character. That's cool. Okay. Um, so that's... They give you compensation when they go down for maintenance, which is awesome. Not seen many games like that. These are our skills. Press K to get to the skill tree. Okay. K for the skills. Um, you have three in every class. You have three sections. This one is all kind of like spells and shit. And this one is all for your weapon, basically. Like strength damage, physical damage, I guess. And this one is all for summoning. Uh, I don't really like the summoning too much. But let's go start with... We'll start with this guy. Okay? Because you can always reset your skills. But let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll summon him up. Boom. Okay. Um. Yep. Okay, press 2 to use an MP potion, mana potion. Ooh, what did I just use there? Potion of speed. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> We've added one of them, and what do we do now? We go to the abandoned village and find out why monsters are resurrecting. Well, it couldn't be me. It's definitely not all the uh, necromancers in, in you go on your own because there's no one to join <laughs> no one to join today but usually usually you can do it with your friends i think you can get a group of six or something stupid no three i don't know i think it's like i don't know it's anywhere from three to six so oh i should probably equip my equip my thing bang there we go all right oh so yeah, one of these skeletons is mine. There he is with the green. Let's go attack this guy together, yeah? Alright. Oh, here we go, footprints. That's the right way. I'm used to just clearing stuff now. Lightning resistance altar. Very nice. So yeah, just follow the footprints. Follow the footprints. Bang, level two. Level two. 
that's a good little bit of info if anyone wants to pause that we'll take a little screenshot or something on your phone if you're watching on your phone i don't know but here we go stat points all right i'm gonna go full strength for now strength vitality and a little bit of mana oh i'm used to my old character <laughs> I'm used to my normal guy that I can just hold down one button still. Okay. We are starting anew! Oh, went the wrong way. So you can see at the top right next to your character name, you can see um, your guys too. Your little skeletons. You can see if one's died and things, and you can just bang another one on. And it's, it's just, it's that easy, guys. Get into it. Don't forget to go past these portals. Make them known, because then, when you're on the map, you can teleport to them. If they're, if they're like, highlighted like that, you can teleport to them. Because that means you've got the portal. Here's a regen altar. Look out for them. They're on the map, too, but you can only use them once. And they're usually right next to a boss. Bang, bang. Click, click, click. You know. Be careful not to die. Sometimes you gotta do a bit of kiting. You know. Boom, boom, boom. Pick up all that stuff. Because we don't have a pet yet. Oh, use return scroll. Alright, so we're gonna... You can either come down here and use this, click that, or we can press B and just hit D. And I am still naked, why is that? And go talk to Agamond. Mm. He's going to give us clouds slowly but surely. All resistances or evade? And go all resistances, because that includes physical resistance, which is just damage. Just like oh, I've, oh, my bag's full. All right, I'll just drop that for now. Um, if your bag's full, you can't finish your quests. Pro right, tip. And then you need to go identify. Whoop. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, identify. Right click the identify, and then left click the. Uh, the item. So I'm gonna put that on. Four armor, very nice. Some flame resistance, poison resistance, and the frost resistance all in one. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and where do we get the bags from again? Mole, I think. And you can buy bags. Bags. Oh. Oh. I've already used all mine on my other character, so you can only put those, so you can only buy a certain amount of bags. Alright, and all mine are on my other character. But usually, first thing you want to be doing once you get a line, tiny bit of cash is go here, go to the mall, and buy these bags. Because for 10k each, they are invaluable. Invaluable. Okay, let's uh, check this. So I am dying for not Crimson Surge. I want this, which is level twelve. Da -da -da. And this one, level thirty, which is the next best skill. So until then, I'm gonna be summoning some guys. Yeah. Continually just following these, basically. Yeah, it reminds me a bit of like Path of Exile, Diablo, those kind of games, you know? It's very cool. It's a very cool game. Good old uh, 
iced coffee. Can't go wrong. Oh. Go to some... Okay. I'm going to do something here. To show you why it's good to activate these portals here. On the map here, you can see the portal. If you see them whilst you're running through any sort of dungeon, use it. Because now I can click there and I can go there. And I remembered that like it wasn't right at the start. So I'm going to save myself a little bit of time by going there. And then just walking up this way. See, that's where my old one was. I left from. Meow. And yeah, basically the first uh, first little bit is just getting used to the game, getting your weapons and things. It gives you um, tips and tricks on what to be doing. So you'll never really be lost until you're at level 60. It's when you really need some help. But luckily, I have a video on that too. So you can, you can read up on that, you can watch it, whatever. You can do what you want. go, Sonora Ruins. Okay. Nice. So, with the uh, skeletons, if we are going to be, if anyone here is actually going to be using Necromancer, just for the ease of it, if you want to watch my videos, then... It shows you here, oh, two skeletons, two skeletons, right? And then here you get one. But as you upgrade it, you get two. So like this started off as one skeleton. Let's reset. Reset our stat points, because you can do that every, what, 300 seconds? So if I get him, it's one skeleton, but I upgrade it again, it's two. So we can get four skeletons for the same price. If I up, like by upgrading it to level two each. But once it's got two skeletons already from level two, it takes up to like level six or something until it gets another one. But you can, I think you can get three or more per spell. So you can end up with like a fair few people risen from the dead. Crimson Surge was air. But. Yeah. I'm gonna get one of them because we need that. And then if you just right click down here, you can change your skills. Uh, you can select whatever you want. No, I didn't get the skeletons back there. Skeleton, skeleton. Go two of them. And then I can right click those guys up. And when I left click, I attack. Very good. Very good. Any questions as well, guys, leave them below in the comments. There ain't no silly questions. I got completely stuck on this and I had like heaps of people helping me out. So I've been completely stuck before and had to make a new character because I just couldn't figure it out. And I gave up trying. Oh, that's just the lore. There's little like snippets of the lore in the game just hidden around the place as well. It's cool. So you can choose to pick that up, read it and get into it or not. Purify the Tainted Shrine. So yeah, this is basically the game. It's the start of the game. There is a lot more to it, let's be honest. This ain't no... This ain't no pixel 2D thing. This ain't your average Web3 game. It's got a fair bit of stuff going on, so get around it, lads. Speak with Seraphine, what's your goal? Oh, I don't know. Looks like we're all set, though. Fortitude amulet. All right, so that's where we get these things coming in. Oh, press I to get in here. Amulet back. You can unlock these slots with the keys. I picked up one key. The bang. I can unlock that slot. Now I can add you. Give me one extra HP. <laughs> awesome. Great. That's uh, it's gonna make a massive difference. Oh, gee, 44. Yeah, it actually will. Jesus. 
I got no strength, no nothing. Let's give me some vitality. Oh yeah, what that was just saying actually, I should tell you, is these things sometimes require like, uh, look, requires dexterity 21. So I'll never be able to wield that until I get dexterity 21. Funny thing is though, if you have something that adds a bunch of dexterity to your character, like uh, some gloves or something that adds dexterity, then you can equip something else as well after putting that on. I don't think there's any weird ways to exploit that yet. I haven't figured anything out. Exploit wise, I don't really do that. I just kind of play the game and try and learn it. Well, here we go. We'll spark that up. And I think that will conclude us in our little beginner's guide. We got to level three, so that's just like Tutorial Island. That's what we're going to call it. Thanks for watching, lads and ladettes. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and all those nice things for me. Uh, and I will see you on the flip side. You understand? The flip side.